how can I say this uh, tactfully? I, I think it will not help the president's legacy. I think that uh, I know from my discussions with foreign leaders thus far that they are hopeful that the United States democratic institutions are viewed once again as being strong and enduring. And, uh, but I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's all going to come to fruition on January 20th. And between now and then, my hope and expectation is that the American people are, do know and do understand that there has been a transition. Even among uh, Republicans who are people who voted for the president, I understand the sense of loss. I get that. But I think uh, the majority of the people who voted for the president, a lot voted for him, a significantly smaller number, but a lot voted for him. I think they understand that we have to come together. I think they're ready to unite, and I believe we can pull the country out of this uh, bitter um, politics that we've seen for the last uh, last five, six, seven years. And just to follow up on a previous question, how do you expect to work with Republicans if they won't even acknowledge you as president-elect? They will. They will. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. All right, Joe Biden answering questions there from the media. First time as president-elect in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, before that, talking about uh, Obamacare and hoping to keep Obamacare as the Supreme Court today was hearing oral arguments about the ACA and uh, they will be making a decision in late June. We continue to roll on right here on News Now from Fox. Thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon, always bringing you the events that are happening in real time. And we don't show you a soundbite or a couple of soundbites. We'll show it to you in its entirety right here on News Now from Fox. Let's continue to go on right now to Chicago right now, getting an update on the latest there of COVID-19. They're talking about travel restrictions as well again as uh, cases continue to not only surge in Illinois, but in surrounding areas as well.